Welcome to the Air Gun Show. In this week's episode, I'm taking a look at a new PAO telescopic sight from the shooting party. But before that, I'm heading out ratting on the farmyard to put the new Hick Micro Alpex digital day and night scope through its paces. Right, we're back out on the farm targeting rats again tonight and I'm really excited about the setup that I've got here actually. Um, kicking off with the gun, it's the FX Dreamline Classic, which is just a really beautiful PCP. Um, 177 calibre, sub 12 foot pounds, so it is just perfect around farm buildings and of course being magazine fed with a nice smooth side lever action, it means I'm not fumbling around for pellets after dark. Um, most significantly though, the bit of kit that I'm really looking forward to trying out tonight is the Hick Micro Alpex uh, A50T night vision scope. So it's a digital day and night scope. Um, what can I tell you about it? It's £799.99 from Scott Country. Um, infrared image, very sharp infrared image by night. Uh, full colour by day but also a really good colour image in twilight. Now, typically the rats here are very nocturnal. I don't expect to see them moving much before it gets properly dark, but another time I will try to show you that, that full twilight mode. Um, it's got your usual choice of reticle designs and colours. Um, it's got onboard recording, so you've got no need to put an SD card in here. It's got its own onboard memory. It comes supplied with an illuminator and the illuminator also comes with batteries and a charger for them and the actual unit has got an onboard rechargeable battery which I've got to say has got a huge capacity. I have taken it out on a few um, short sessions already just to sort of get familiar with it. I hadn't bothered recharging the battery in between and it's just gone on and on and you can put another battery in the top turret but quite frankly you'd have to be going out for a heck of a long session to even need that. So uh, another thing I really like about this, this rifle scope is the fact that it's got the proportions of a fairly conventional telescopic sight. So it's, it feels very familiar. It's got a 30 millimeter tube, which means that I'm able to use my usual sports match scope mounts. And it also means that I've been able to mount it really low A nice, I mean, the, the objective lens is only just above the barrel. So that means that I don't have to apply quite so much hold over and hold under when shooting at close range for these rats. So there's less chance of me getting that calculation wrong and missing shots. So I think that's most of the detail. I mean, this scope, in all honesty, it's got far more features than I've got time to go through now. So do take a look at the Scott Country website if you want to find out more about it. But that's the kit. We're going to wait for it to get properly dark and then put it through its paces on these rats.
Well, that's not too bad for the first 15, 20 minutes. Eh? There were actually quite a few rats already out feeding uh, under a calf feeder soon as I switched on, but unsurprisingly had the first shot and the rest of them scattered, but they've been creeping back out. I'm getting a few shots and that is the main thing. was a close one. I was just scanning through the site and there it was less than 10 meters away from me and I actually had to refocus for it. Now it's surprising just how close stuff will come out you know, when you're sat here quiet in the dark um, and, and of course you can see the light from the illuminator because we're using a night vision video camera but I'm sat here in complete darkness and most of these rats just aren't aware of the fact that I'm here. Well, I don't know what that rat was initially trying to do to the dead one. I couldn't tell whether it was being aggressive or over-friendly, but it didn't get to do it for very long. Um, I've, got, I've got to say the image quality, I'm getting a really nice sharp view through the scope and I really hope that the recordings I'm getting through it this evening do it justice. Um, one thing I didn't mention at the outset was the, the sort of ground that I've got in front of me. That's a really nice mix. I've got a recently redundant a uh, calf pen, so still feed there that's attracting the rats. Um, there's some sort of big old storage units, general sort of farm waste, bit of machinery, so it's a nice sort of untidy corner where rats are inevitably nesting, plus a food source. So 
although it's not overrun, it's giving me a nice sort of steady evening of activity. Let's try and get a few more. And there's another one, got to say it has, it has turned pretty slow now and that's no great surprise. We've shot quite a few rats from a single spot now so it's inevitable that A I'm thinning them out and B any remaining ones are getting pretty wary. So I'm going to make that do for tonight but I just really want to say and I've, I've waited a little while to get my hands on the Hick Micro Alpex and it has been worth the wait. It's, it's performed really well this evening, I'm really happy with it. Right, I've got quite a few rats to get picked up and moved over onto the fire site, so I'm going to get going. The Hick Micro Alpex and FX Dreamline doing a brilliant job on the rats there. Next up, let's take a look at the new PAO Triple S telescopic sight from the shooting party. The shooting party has a great reputation for delivering excellent value for money and solid performance with its PAO line of rifle scopes. Now, they have recently added three smart spherical structure or triple S scopes to the range. Now, I've been really impressed with them, so let's take a closer look. The three models cover a wide range of applications. Now, prices start at £94.99 for the 3 to 9 by 42 model. Uh, there's also a very compact 1 to 4 by 24 version and what I have here is the 6 to 24 by 56 model which is packed with features and costs £229.99. So this is the biggest scope in the range. It's about 38 centimetres long which means it's going to be much better suited to larger air guns than tiny ball pups though as I've said there are much smaller options within the range. Uh, it weighs about 850 grams, which is fairly typical for a scope of this size, and it comes supplied with a set of two-piece mounts, which actually look to be pretty good quality. All three Triple S scopes boast some very interesting features. Now, the smart spherical structure incorporates an all-metal interface within the scope turret mechanism, which makes for very precise adjustments. Now, the resettable windage and elevation turrets lift to unlock for tool-free adjustment and then turn with very positive clicks, each one adjusting the point of impact one quarter of an inch at 100 yards. Now, once you've got them set, you simply snap them back down to lock them in position. Another clever feature has been termed TSS, standing for Thin Scope Shell. Now, this makes the shell of the scope appear thinner around the actual image as you look in through the ocular lens and it gives a wider field of view. Now, image quality actually looks to be pretty good, so the optics are obviously doing their job. This scope has a 30mm tube and a 56mm objective lens. 
Now, the green hue on those lenses is a clear sign of the multi-layer performance enhancing coatings that have actually been applied to them. Now, most significantly, that big tube and large objective lens work together to transmit plenty of light and the result is a nice bright sight picture. 6 to 24 times is an impressive zoom range and should cover pretty much everything. Now these scopes have wide angle viewing but it's obviously going to be wider on the lower zoom settings. Crank it up to the high end though and you've got the precision for really accurate shot placement over longer ranges. Now the zoom dial even features a removable throw lever which makes for really quick easy adjustment even when you're wearing gloves. Side parallax via the left turret is a really nice feature. Now this one goes from just 10 yards which is great for close range work out to infinity. Now the dial turns really smoothly and with just about the right amount of torque as it is but you also get an oversized removable 10 centimeter parallax wheel should you want to use that. The reticle is multi-aim point and offers reference points for hold over and hold under and also for wind drift adjustment. Um, there's a fast focus eyepiece too so you can get it pin sharp. Uh, furthermore, the, the reticle can also be illuminated for improved contrast against dark backdrops. It's operated by the dial on top of the eyepiece and that gives you a choice of five different brightness levels in either green or red. I would describe this second focal plane scope as being mid-priced and I have to say that I'm really impressed with its build quality. Everything on it feels really solid and it's shockproof rated for centre fire and rim fire rifles so a recoiling air gun should pose absolutely no problem. It's also waterproof and nitrogen purged to stop it from fogging up and it's covered by the shooting party's lifetime warranty. In terms of extras, I've already mentioned the mounts and the oversized parallax wheel, and of course you also get a lens cloth and a battery for the illuminated reticle. On top of that, you also get a set of push-on flip-up lens covers to keep the glass safe when it's not in use. So, that is the 6 to 24 times model from PAO's new triple S range of scopes available from the shooting party. Now with prices starting at under £100 they represent excellent value for money but these scopes also boast features and build quality that exceeds their price point. Do take a look at them if you're in the market for a new telescopic sight and don't want to break the bank. I'm afraid that's all we've got time for this week and I'd like to wrap up by saying an extra special thank you because this is my last episode of the Air Gun Show. Now apart from thanking you the viewers for making it possible, I'd also like to thank all of the show sponsors past and present, also cameraman Nicky Brown, Kev Hawker, our editor Adam Lee, Richard Saunders and Andy Watkins. It's just been the most enjoyable eight years putting this show out. Now. The Airgun Show will be back as usual in a fortnight and there's going to be lots of action-packed content with Richard Saunders and I wish it all the very best for the future. Thank you for watching, take care and I'll see you again. Don't miss the award-winning Airgun Shooter magazine. It's packed with hunting features, reviews, tactics and insight to help you become an even more successful shooter. Get your copy today in shops or online.